Michelle, Michelle, v- 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 Visage on the way after the news. Thanks for another great week on Tea Time. You are lovely. We've had some great callers, lovely texts. Listen, enjoy the sunshine. A lovely weekend. This is Radio 2. On BBC Sounds. And on your smart speaker. Play BBC Radio 2. BBC News at 7 o'clock. This is Claire Ronacres. The presenter, Philip Schofield, has resigned from ITV after acknowledging that he had an affair with a younger male colleague this morning. He stepped down from presenting the British Soap Awards. In a statement, Mr Schofield said he had lied about the relationship to ITV as well as his agents, lawyers and family. He said the relationship was unwise but not illegal. A couple who murdered their 10-month-old son weeks after he was returned by social services have been jailed for life. Stephen Bowden will serve at least 29 years in prison, while Shannon Marsden will serve 27. Their son Finlay was found dead at their home in Chesterfield on Christmas Day in 2020. Our correspondent, Sancha Berg, explains how the couple used lies to get Finlay back. Because of Covid, um, they couldn't be visited by the social worker, so they sent photos instead, and they couldn't meet social workers and be scrutinised in the same way, and we saw from the criminal court that that happened in the lead-up to Finley's death when they had got him back because they used Covid to keep the professionals away. This occasion, they said, Finley had Covid. The security contractor Serco has been fined more than £2 million for health and safety failings that led to a custody officer being kicked to death by a prisoner. Humphrey Burke attacked Lorraine Barwell at Blackfriars Crown Court in London in 2015. At least two people have been killed by a Russian missile strike on a medical clinic in the southern Ukrainian city of Dnipro. At least another 23 people have been injured. President Zelensky said that the Kremlin had confirmed its status as fighters against everything humane and honest. The search for survivors is continuing, but the deputy head of the emergency response team, Oleg Kushnurik, says it is a complex operation. The difficulty of putting out the fire was that this is an old building that has wooden structures inside, so the fire spread quickly. Also, there were two air sirens that prevented us from approaching the scene and getting reinforcements. There was a risk of another strike. An inquest has ruled that the army missed opportunities to prevent the suicide of an officer cadet at the prestigious Sandhurst Military Academy. Olivia Perks hanged herself in her room in 2019. The army has apologised. The commandant of Sandhurst, General Zach Stenning, says that things at the academy must change. We are committed to being better and will consider all of the coroner's findings to ensure we learn any further lessons to provide the best possible leadership and care for our soldiers, officers and trainees. This includes zero tolerance of the utterly unacceptable behaviours exposed by the service inquiry and this inquest. And Celine Dion says she will focus on building back her strength after cancelling her world tour. The 55-year-old singer has been diagnosed with a rare neurological disorder. The weather, it should be a mostly clear evening with some patchy cloud in northern parts of England and Wales. BBC News, it's three minutes past seven. Radio 2 There's a party going on right here yeah. Now, the story time yeah. commence It's BBC Radio 2 yeah. Michelle Visage yeah. Mama's here and I am so excited 